What you just said now is absolutely amazing because I've had so many people come to me, my background is social work and everything, so many, so many people come to me where they've had problems and issues in life, like dilemmas of moving forward around poverty, money, finance and everything. And the corporate company upstairs are saying that you have to give money to the church and you have to give money to us before you move forward. And I don't see that happening because they can't even afford to buy food or yeah. that kind of thing. So the corporate companies upstairs that are controlling the churches and everything are putting a hardship on the people down below. So let me respond to that, bro. Because I think, you know, one of the ways that the Christian church converted the Roman Empire was that we looked after our own people. We looked after our widows, we looked after our orphans, we looked after our elders. If, and, but lots of churches, they organise themselves to do charity work out in the community and they look after other people when they've got suffering people inside their own four walls and they haven't yet managed to organise themselves to look after their own impoverished, to look after their own uh, suffering. And I would challenge Christians, right? It says, in Gen it says in Galatians, whilst there is yet time, do good to all people, but especially those in the house of faith. Why are you looking after the elders in the community if you're not looking after the elders in the fellowship? Why are you looking after the poor in the community if you're not looking after the poor in the fellowship? Why are you looking after the, 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 the mentally ill in the community if you're not looking after the mentally ill in the fellowship? The, the reality is we need to organize ourselves to deal with the sufferings in our own church. Some of those problems are going to be bigger than the individual fellowship. If that's the case, unite with other fellowships until you can throw enough resources, time and people at the problem that you can look after the ones in need in the fellowship. And you just keep organizing further and further outwards until you've applied enough resources to deal with the problem you face. It's simple sociology. Excellent. The other question was, because like I said to you, I was a social worker before, before yeah. Christ Jesus and, and my pastor who's helping me, I I saw a lot of children suffering, uh, being ruined and abused yeah. by the high 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 above. Yeah. Okay. When I was discussing this with them, i.e. the church and everything, they basically ignored what was going on with the children. And then same children are growing up and they're leaving. Yeah. They're leaving. Um, Jesus is following. Jesus is preaching and everything. The, the abuse that they've had from, from above in the churches, yeah. institutions that so, are, are like the care home. Yeah, let me reply to that, which is that, that there's no doubt about it that institutionally the church has been um, infiltrated by paedophile gangs. Yes. The church has. It's a fact. We can't deny it. Uh, uh, let, let, let me finish. Many churches, both Catholic and non-Catholic, I mean, obviously, it, it's something that managed to... Uh, 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 a brood of vipers definitely nested within the Catholic Church, but it's not just the Catholic Church. Um, but, it, but, it, but the reality is that, that paedophilic abuse is across society. There are paedophile teachers, there are paedophile Muslim gangs that have groomed th thousands of children in the north of England. And one second, one second, one second, let me, repl let me, finish, let me finish my reply. The reality is that Christians unanimously condemn the act of adults having sex with children. And there's, there's no doubt about it that that is exactly what we should do. Not like with the Muslims, the Muslim apologists in this corner who defend sex with children because their Quran makes it legitimate, their Hadiths make it legitimate, and their Sharia manuals make it legitimate. There's nothing like that in the Christian faith. You're saying that the Full Christians stop. are doing something wrong, but the Muslims are doing what Islam is teaching them. And that is the difference. Can I just, can I, I, I work with the grooming grounds, so that bit of knowledge that you said was wrong. Yeah. Uh, let me just add to that. The Muslim grooming grounds, uh, there's no such thing as Muslim grooming grounds. There is it. There is it. What, what happened was, the young girl was sold to the drug trafficking, human trafficking. So the parents, the white parents, were selling the girl to the thousands of No, thousands. that's not true. I worked on the, I worked, can I just finish? You've had your fault. So the kids were sold to the drug traffickers because they were feeding 
the parents with the drugs and everything. But why so did the they gang, do, why didn't they do finish. that to the Muslim girls? They were, doing, they were doing the same thing to them as well. No, that's not true. Because I worked, can I just finish? Because I worked as a social worker and I worked in the refuge centres and across all the county line and I discovered the same problem was going through not just religion, but through all communities. And we've said that. We've yeah, said that. Said I said that, I said that there are grooming gangs not, that have nested yeah, yeah. in the Catholic as a Church. Christian, as there a are paedophile teachers. Bit, you should not use a religion no. to specify the behavior. No, no, it's wrong. no. There as a is Christian, just, just as, as Christian, just as, just as, that, that causes just as, in the community. What, what I find though interesting is that you were happy yeah. to accept that there were paedophile gangs in the church, but the moment we mentioned Muslim paedophile no, gangs, you got upset about it. You got upset about it. You got upset about it. Huge difference. The setting wasn't used. There were, to but, but, the but, but, but the, no, the, the I, point, the, the, the Muslim, the setting was wasn't used to exploit the children, whereas the church the, used the children. There's plenty of child abuse going off in Quranic schools. I, I There's plenty of child abuse going off in Quranic promise. schools. You should not use like Christianity or Muslim to say oh, the grooming gangs. There, there, are Muslim grooming gangs. there are Muslim grooming gangs. There are Muslim grooming gangs. Christians that become Muslims, Muslims that become Christians. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't sin and not forgive them for their sins. No, no, no. So it doesn't. None of that changes the fact that there have been, just like there have been Catholic grooming gangs in the priesthood, there have also been Muslim grooming gangs who have industrially raped and targeted white girls, and that is a fact. That is a fact. The fact is, it's all around drugs, when, when, human trafficking. I, 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 I definitely agree. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. They don't have no religion. No, you're, you're, you're wrong Maybe about that. You have faith. You're wrong about that. I'll give you an example. There was there was one of the gangs that said the reason... I can't remember. It would take me some time to find it. But one of the gangs said that the reason why they hosted an underaged minor and raped her was that they were celebrating Eid. That's not true. That's what they said. That's what they said in court. Where's your facts? It said it. I mean, I don't, I'll have to find the article for you. Send me an email. I'll yeah. find the article to you. What I'll send it doing, to you. What they were doing, buying drugs, taking them girls around houses. Yes. And sexually exploiting yes. Them. And yeah. what was the thing that united them? Eid. Eid were were, were, were the Sikhs involved in that gang? Pardon? Were yes. Sikhs yes, in, were. No, no, hold on. Yes. The, you were. you go yes. and look at these gangs and you look at the names of these gangs. The names are overwhelmingly Islamic names. The things that unite them, the things that unite them. You said the the things that unite them. The I worked with Shera Punjab. Yeah. And we took the girls away yeah. from different people yeah. that were sexually exploiting them. Sikhs. From the top. Yeah, Sikhs. With Sikhs, yeah. Yeah, that Sikhs were exploiting Sikh girls. No, Sikhs were helping me to bring the girls back. From who? From different groups that were sexually exploited. Does that include Muslim gangs? We don't use the word Muslim Christianity. No, you don't use it's it. Trafficking. You were happy to accept yeah, it when we said no, no, Catholic no, no, priests. No, but you're you were happy up. to no, accept not, it not, when we talked about no, Catholic no, no, priests. No, no, no. Catholic priests is happening in all institutions. You said uh, it's happening exactly. in Muslim it, it, it is happening. Christian it is happening eat. across it's the not, board. It's called human trafficking. Yeah, it's not yeah. just, that, but there are Muslim rape gangs. Do you it's know a fact. Do you know there's a Christian Christian faith in India and a Christian yes, Hindu temple that basically groom little girls for the sex industry. I, I can believe it. Yeah. I'm not going to dispute it. Yeah. I'm not going to dispute and that, that. And they make a lot of money from it. I'm sure they do. Yeah. I'm sure so, they do. So that's when we first touched on the subject. Yes. The but when but the, um, making a lot of money. But the it. only time that you got uh, visceral in your objection. You were happy when I said that teachers did it. You were happy when I said that priests did it. But when I said... What, I, what I'm trying to say is... Yeah. Muslim, I never denied Muslims don't... To be clear, I'm not saying all Muslims are involved. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not okay, saying yeah, that. Yeah. Just just to clarify, so, so you don't I, misunderstand me. I'm, I'm not priests. saying... You should not, not use, Like, not all priests. No, no, but what I'm saying, you should not use faith. Because when you use faith, like Muslims, Christians... Jews are raping girls, this and that. It causes uproar in the community. Right. We know we shouldn't Muslims hide. Are raping, not let, let me rephrase. Let me let, let me come back on that because we shouldn't hide facts yes. for the sake of political cohesion. Yes. And that's what you've just invited me to do. You've invited me to hide facts no, because you don't to want facts. to create uproar. No, no, uproar. There, no let me finish. 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 No, let me no, let me finish. You, there should be uproar. No, 
that Muslim gangs, there should be uproar that Muslim gangs targeted white girls to rape them so and groom them. It was all the colour about the skin. The no, stats speak for themselves, bro. Tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. Are you denying it? Show me your facts. Are you denying it? No, I'm not denying it. Are you I'm saying, am I speaking the truth or not? It's my expertise. You so we are, am I speaking the truth or not? I've tens of there. thousands? I've been, no, it's not tens of thousands. Right, oh, now, we know, now we know he's not talking about Which the facts. Tell you why it's not Go and check it right now, whether there was tens of thousands of white girls okay, groomed and raped. Go and Google no, it right no. now. See which of us is actually speaking facts. Google, I challenge you. Google, Google. <laughs> is there girls were, uh, were raped? Huh? How many Muslim girls were raped? They keep that, them numbers separate. You know why? Because, so, you know, let me just finish. The, the reason why, not just the Muslim girls, but Sikh girls and other Which ethnic, were targeted by Muslim that. grooming gangs. Because you know the reason why. Because you're defending Islam. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not defending Islam. Yeah. Yeah. You're defending Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. Muslim yeah. Ago, I, don't know if I, remember. I do remember. Okay, great. Would you like to have another one? Yeah, I mean, he was, cause, but, but this time, could it be a bit, a bit fair with the time? Yes, time of course. Then, well, my voice was heard as well. Yeah, so your voice good. was heard plenty last time. Yeah, but. I don't think it was. Right. <clears throat> okay. Can I? Can I just? Let me. Let me just. Agree. Agree. Let me just. Let me just. This is from the Independent. Forget the journey. Grooming epidemic has almost 19,000 children identified as sexual exploitation victims in England. So we are talking about tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. How many of those 19,000 are Muslim Yes, exactly. How many are Muslim girls? How many names have they put on there? There's no names. If they don't discriminate about Christians, then why wouldn't they be Muslim Muslim girls? Right. Almost 19,000 children have been sexually groomed in England in the past year. In the past year, 19,000 children have been groomed. This is after all of the discovery of this industrial rape and it is still going on. Why? Because we have apologists like this in the social services that are trying to obfuscate the facts and hide the facts that this is still happening. He works in social services, he said, and he tried to lie about the facts on camera. This is why it's still going on. Because our state workers are actively trying to hide it for the sake of political cohesion. Did you hear that, brother? For the sake of political cohesion. Do you remember? We shouldn't say Muslim grooming gangs because if we say Muslim grooming gangs, there will be uproar in the community. So in other words, we filter the, the facts yeah. according to the political end that we wish to achieve. Anger, well, anger. I have a better idea. How about we allow the facts to guide the political yes. agenda we wish to achieve? How about we allow the fact yeah. that there has been industrial scales of Muslim gangs grooming white children and raping them to decide our policies about how we defend those white girls from the Muslim grooming gangs so in Rotherham, in Rochdale, in Oldham, in Bradford, in Birmingham, in Blackburn. Let's stop obfuscating. How many girls? Let's stop hiding reality. How many girls have you defended? Not even one. My voice I've speaks defended. out for them, does it not I've right now? But you said girls. that there were not tens of thousands raped. Yeah, said you said no, that. No, Put your hand up that. if you heard him say that. Put your hand up if you heard him say that. I this matter, there you go. So he lied about the facts. The numbers are wrong. Guys. And then put your hand up. Put your hand up. If you heard him say he was a social worker, put your hand up. So we have state workers lying about what is happening in this country. He lied 
when he said it wasn't tens of thousands of people. He lied when he said that it wasn't Muslim grooming gangs. He lied, and that is why the problem goes on. Why are you so against Islam? I'm talking about You're human liar, trafficking. You're a liar, man. Islam is based on lies. I'm not even talking about Islam. Why would you not be against a lie? I'm even talking. I'm talking are about human trafficking. Are you for lies? You you said that you're a Christian. Human trafficking. Wait, let the, come yes, on. Yes. I want to move the conversation on. Because you've presented yourself as a Christian. Yes. Do you believe Muhammad is a false prophet? I'm not talking about religion. I'm asking you. I'm learning about your Is Muhammad a false prophet? Are you a false prophet? No. Why are you shouting? I'm not a prophet. I'm talking about Is Muhammad a false prophet? You've presented yourself as a Christian. No. Put your hand up if you're a Christian. Put your hand up. Keep your hand up if you think Muhammad's a false prophet. How do you know he's a false prophet? So there we go. All the Christians see Muhammad as a false prophet. Yes, yes. Do you say Muhammad is a false prophet? I, I've not had that education at the moment. So you, I'm learning of you. So you don't think Muhammad's a false prophet? I'm learning of you. Okay. Why is he a false prophet? I'll give you. I'll tell you why he's a false prophet. It's a tell great me. question. Yeah. I'll give. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give. No, first, first, before we move on no, to no, Muhammad, no. let's I, finish I, off the grooming guy. No, no. I think that's no, no, done. No, no. I think no, that's no, done. No, I think no, that's no, done. Why is it done. Because I uh, let me. Yeah, because you got nothing to support what you're saying. So my pastor, his. His name is Pastor Yvonne from Southall, yeah? Okay. 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 So I, I welcome you to my church. I'll come. On Sunday. I would love Next to come. Sunday What's the, the name morning. of your church? Huh? South Hall International Christian Church. Okay, South Hall International Christian Church. Come, okay. come on Sunday. One Sunday we will come nice to, meet to you. see if you're there. Peace be with you. Yeah, peace be right. Yeah. right. South Hall International Church. Yeah. 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 Different yeah. colours yeah. from all around the That's world. That's exactly how a church, church should be. That's Take exactly how a church should be. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Muhammad? If you listen to the first conversation, I just come into yeah. Christianity. Great, great. Let me ask you this simple question. No Christian would deny this. As a Christian, do you do you affirm that Maha that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Muhammad? Stop shouting. Okay. Do you affirm that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Muhammad? Just stop shouting. Okay. I answer your question. Yeah. Right. Come, come on Sunday. I will. And we I will. will talk there. So then answer this question. Do you Sunday. affirm that Jesus Christ is the simple Lord of Muhammad? I'm, I'm asking you a simple, simple question. question. I've said yes. Answer, I've said yes. Answer, Notice answer, he doesn't answer, affirm it. Answer, Notice he doesn't answer, affirm it. Answer, answer, answer. No. No. Put your hand up if you're a Christian. Right. Do you affirm that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Muhammad? Yeah. Yes. Amen. Jesus do you affirm that Jesus Christ is the Lord? You put your hand up. Yes. Are you a Christian? Do you affirm that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Muhammad? Everyone. Everyone. There you go. Is everyone, Jesus Christ everyone. the Lord of Muhammad? Yes, yes. Now you see, no Christian has a problem affirming that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Muhammad. I suspect that what we had here was someone who was pretending to be a Christian for the camera and that he was actually a Muslim. A Muslim who only decided to speak up. He didn't speak up when I condemned the grooming gangs in the Catholic Church. He didn't condemn the fact that I condemn grooming gangs in the school and educational system. The only time that he spoke up was when I talked about grooming gangs in the Muslim community. And that is the problem. Until Muslims are willing to confront that there are such things as Muslim grooming gangs, that problem will persist. The Catholic Church has faced up to the fact that for decades it was infested by paedophiles. And now it has some of the strictest measures to govern the relationships of priests and children. We are dealing with our paedophile problem. But whenever we challenge the Muslims about their paedophile problem, all they do is make excuses. All they do is blame everyone else. All they do is say, don't look at us. It's racist to point the finger at us. Christ said, before you take the plank out of your bro before you take the speck of dust out of your brother's eye, take the plank out of your own. Well, we Christians are doing that in our community. We are tackling our paedophile problem. When will the Muslims tackle their paedophile problem? No, maybe there will be good Muslims. Don't say never. Give them hope. But the reality is, when their prophet had sex with a child, they are forced to defend it. 
He says I'm lying. He says I'm lying. How old was Aisha when Muhammad married her? Yes, 12 years old. That's not true. That is also not true. Shall I tell you what Sahih al Bukhari says? Shall I say? I'm going to prove you wrong. Yes, yes. Right. He says the hadith say nine when they married. Yes. I'll show you that the hadith say she was six and that he consummated the marriage at nine. That's what his hadith say. So we'll see. He says I'm a liar, so let me get out the hadith. Will you reject will you reject Muhammad if I show you?